one quiet morning, in the soft light of dawn, I set off to explore the island nation's northern shores and its flooded forests. Just beyond the shimmering waters, I could see Malaysia flashing like a mirage, almost within reach, and yet fatally divided from us by the invisible hand of a closed border. All around me, the forest floor was awash in the tide, and I kept my eyes trained upon the dancing ripples, hoping to be lucky enough to spot an elusive creature. After a nice and idyllic coastal walk, I came upon a visitor centre building that marked the crossroad between several different trails. Stepping into its cool interior, I looked up and found some surprise guests hanging from the ceiling.
Sungai Buloh is notable as a stopover for some 40 species of migratory shorebirds, and thus attracts a good share of bird watchers, armed with telescopic lenses. But with neither the equipment nor the know-how, I was unable to fully experience this aspect of the mangroves. Still, for spotting fish, no special equipment was necessary, and resting in the shade, I was able to observe a fascinating behaviour. For some reason, fish would periodically launch themselves clear out of the water. A wooden tower stood at the water's edge, so naturally I climbed up the top to take a look. Still hoping to spot a saltwater crocodile, I continued scanning the water's edge, looking twice at anything half-submerged. Alas, my vigil proved fruitless. The only things I saw breaking the water's surface were the intertwining aerial roots of the diverse plant life. Nonetheless, I was not wholly unrewarded, as my eyes were drawn to these little crabs, contentedly clinging to the half-submerged wood. With my eyes at ground level, I would have completely missed this tiny gliding lizard if some other hikers had not drawn my attention.
Sadly, not everything that caught my eye was pleasant. Far too much of the area along the trails was strewn with litter. This despite the ready availability of trash bins. The pandemic has severed the physical connections between our city-state and the world. Connections that we perhaps took for granted. No longer can we transport ourselves to another continent at the flick of a whim. Living in this new isolation should perhaps inspire us to examine what remains available to us. The limited treasures peppered across this small island and to remind us to appreciate and protect them. Let us remember that nature is fragile, and if we are not careful, our small but rich forests may soon become lost to our children forever. So the weather report says it's supposed to be storming right now, but it is unimaginably hot. 